Hey guys, it's Kate and I hope you're having a great day. I'm here with some watercolor paper and my ruling pen and some drawing gum or masking fluid or frisket, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't ever worked with a ruling pen, it has been really fun to use to put down masking fluid and it's really easy to clean. I also use brushes but I have really enjoyed using this too. So before we start with the paint, I am just going to dip into my fluid and make some just interesting marks on my paper. And I got kind of a blob here, so I'm going to stretch that out a bit and just make some organic marks going across the page. And this is going to preserve the lightness of the paper. So that way, once we have all of our paint layers down, it will have a nice final look with some good contrast. And so I am just going to use this almost as a center of focus. And I'm going to have some tendrils kind of coming out to the rest of the page and off the page. And I might even have some coming off of the edge there, maybe curling a little bit. And going in different directions just to make it interesting. And then we're gonna set that aside and let it dry. All right, I'm back and my masking fluid is all dry. So right now my paper is dry and I am going to go in wet on dry. I'm gonna go straight from the pan and get some really rich color down here on the page. And I'm gonna go with some blues and greens. Um, and then I'm also going to today dip into a neon color. I think I'm going to do this neon red. It is really, really bright, but I just want to experiment with that a bit. So first I'm going to dip into this deep blue and I'm just going to start at one side of the page here and I'm going to make sure I get in these sort of nooks and crannies where my, um, where my masking fluid is because I will have a little bit of spots here where it's going to have some resist and I just want to make sure that I am getting good coverage on all of the spots where I don't have um, masking fluid. So I'm going to go into that highlighter neon red color which actually blends really nicely with these blues. I really like that effect. I'm going to add some more, whoops, I'm going to add some more over this way and just kind of come up here through the page and I'm just going to alternate a bit with these colors. So I'm going to go back to that deep blue and lay some more down here and just keep on working my way through and letting those colors blend together. I'm trying to keep my shapes pretty organic and varying in size and I'm also going to let my colors really mix together nicely on the page and I love how that turquoise flows into the, the red like that. That's really pretty. I'm going to add some more red up here and it's turning into like this sort of neon-y purpley color which is really pretty. Alright, over here I'm going to add some more of that deep blue. And then back to that neon red, we'll put a pop of it right down in here. And I'm rinsing often because since I'm mixing all of these together with my brush, I just want to make sure that I'm keeping the colors fairly clean besides letting them blend together on the paper here. And I think I'm going to go into that turquoise one more time and get that up here in the corner. And so I'm just going to give my paper 
another look, make sure I have everything covered. All my edges. I like this bit of brightness that we've got going on in here. I think that's really pretty. So that looks pretty good to me right now. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. All right, I am back and we are pretty much all dry except for just a little bit right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. I have this um, stencil with just a whole bunch of different size circles. And so I'm going to keep on going with this kind of being the focal area. And so I'm going to put the largest circle right about here. And I'm just going to trace it in with my pencil just so that I can get that good placement. And then I'm going to start shrinking my circles as I go out. And I'm also gonna have some kind of go off the page, just like if I were going to um, have them kind of fading away as we get toward the outside. And so I'm just going to go around here and put in my shapes. I'm also going to kind of make them um, a little bit more dispersed as we go out also. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my turquoise and I'm going to get kind of a light-ish wash and I'm just going to work on filling in these circles with a second coat of paint. Now I'm not going to be too worried about being, you know, crazy in the lines, but I just want to get an accurate circle. And I really like using that stencil just to help me kind of with placement and to get a real circle shape. And I think this is going to have a really cool 3D effect once we get all of our layers up. So I'm just going to go here and fill in all my circles. Okay, next I'm going to grab my liner brush and I'm going to dip into my pure black. This is the deep black in my palette and it's a little bit off screen, but I'm going to come through here from this same focal area and I'm going to add some extra lines and I'm just going to go slowly and let that paint come off my brush so that I don't have a broken line and this will give me that extra bit of contrast and I'm not going to add too too much here but I want to just make sure that I've got some of those different values all right we are all dry and ready to take off our um, masking fluid so I have this little sort of gunk remover tool and I'm just gonna rub it gently sometimes if you get a good enough start you can actually pull back a whole bunch and it will just come right up just like that <laughs> it's pretty cool all right we've got it all up now time to remove the tape and see what we've got i really love how this turned out it was pretty fun to do i love experimenting with colors and different techniques and just, I don't know, having fun with color, texture, contrast, all of that stuff. And trying something different, getting out of that comfort zone. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you followed along with me or you'll grab your supplies and do something like this. Um, for the white, if you don't have masking fluid, you can always use like a white Posca pen or something else or even white paint over the top of it. But let me give you a little close up so you can see everything. And I love that neon red. That really looks cool. And actually, like up here in the corner, you can see where that uh, blue was kind of going over it a little bit and blended in. I really love that effect. I think that this just turned out really neat, and I love it. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, keep creating. Bye.